I'm up on my feet. I'm worse than dressed and I'm looking neat. Man, what's the rush? Man, it's only school. There's plenty of time, so chill out. Be cool. Now I'm signing off from the hardest MC who's fresher than the rest, badder than the best. I'm from Peckham, so there's no contest. Morning, Mrs. Ambrose. Oh, morning, Louise. Did you sleep well? Yeah, fine, thanks. Well, if you go downstairs to the kitchen, I'll come down and make breakfast in a minute. Okay. Okay. Mum? Has the post arrived yet? No, not yet. Gloria, mm. I want you to go downstairs and make some breakfast for Louise. I don't want to leave her too long on she own. Well, Mum, Louise believes that women shouldn't be slaves to the kitchen, and she has made a conscious decision not to familiarise herself with kitchen utensils. Oh, yes. Well, you better just go downstairs and reintroduce her to mine. All right. <laughs> yeah? Last time she was here, that child nearly burned my house down making beans and toast. <laughs> Desmond Ambrose. 57 boy and still handsome. Desmond, how are you? Today I feel 27. That's good. Why, after that rum last night, I feel 63. But pork pie, you are 63. Why, Matthew, you, you're stupid, eh? <laughs> All right, name this tune, the time, the date, the everything. Boss it. Oscar Brown Jr. signifying monkey. Recorded 1960, Billy Butterfield. Joe Wilder on trumpet. He was almost as good as me. The greatest trumpeter in Guyana, Jazzy D. Oh, <laughs> Matthew, how many times do I have to tell you I don't want that paper in my shop? <laughs> Well, we address study on, on the... what? Page three? Or oh, how many times they blame black people for so many things? No, it's a study on censorship and the press. <laughs> well, in my day, they never teach you worthless things like that. It's just an excuse to read dirty magazines. <laughs> Gloria, make sure you have something to eat before you go out. Uh, Gloria, can you remember which of the Bronte sisters wrote Jane Eyre? Um. <laughs> no, wait, wait. Um. What's her name? What's her name? Charlotte. How did you know that? I used to have a brain once, you know. <laughs> it's just that I put it away when I married your father. <laughs> Yo! Catch you later, Dad. You see that? You know where we learned that? In school. They have evening classes that teach them to walk like that on spray walls with paint. They call it break dance and graffiti art. I call it can't dance and vandalism. Dad, has the post come yet? It's over there, darling. Oh, we. Anything for me? No. Listen, you two. After you've had this, I want you to go. This is not a cafe, you know. Oh, come on, Cheryl, don't be like that. It's people like us that keep this shop going. Without us, this place wouldn't be the same. Without you, this place would be a barber shop. <laughs> Instead of a bookie and a social club. But you can't just throw us out to roam the streets with nothing to do. I might get into trouble. All right. You can stay on one condition. Just an image. Anything, anything. One of you got to get his hair cut. Ah. Obviously, you must be referring to pork pie. 
He's worn that hat so long, I don't think even he knows what's under it. <laughs> Is that the time? I really must go to college now, otherwise I'll be late. Oh, what's your lecture today, Matthew? Is tabloid journalism undermining the moral fiber of today's urban society? Oh! <laughs> See you later, bye! <laughs> All right, Popeye, it's you. At least you can get these sides cut. Look. Is that the time? I really must go to college now. <laughs> oh, time <laughs> All right. <laughs> Listen to this, right? <laughs> Male, five foot eight tall, sexy, and W.E. Yeah, what does W.E. mean? Well endowed. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be in doubt, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want a handsome, rich, intelligent. Yeah. How did you know what W.E. meant? You've done this before, haven't you? No, I haven't. <laughs> Listen, you're not going to find anyone with brains in here, you know. All you're likely to get in here is W.M.s. What's that? Weird men. <laughs> well, I don't see why. Here, listen to this. <clears throat> At male or the man, you can have the man of your dreams. Ooh. <laughs> From the comfort of your own home. Ooh. So no more boring chat-up lines like... Haven't we met somewhere before, babe? Do you come here often? What well, I'm sister. You cool? I think I know your sister very well. <laughs> How's that, Reginald? Bow on to that. <laughs> tennis racket? I tell you what, next time I'll put in two wavy lines and we can call it a tennis ball, all right? Bye-bye. Next. Sunglasses to wear a suit like that. Yeah. <laughs> so it's the precision tailoring, you know, see it there. You buy that on holiday? Nah, I got it from two ex-cons down at me. They're doing tailoring on one of those restart courses. They should restart on the suit. <laughs> <laughs> How much did it cost? A wanna. What do you think, eh? Miami Vice? For a suit like that, you need legal advice. <laughs> How was your holiday leave? It was wicked. <laughs> no minary. Uh, by the way, where did you go? J.A., L.A., USA. And that was just the name of the discos. <laughs> Spain, Costa Bomb, Club 18 to 30. It was all the S's, right? Sun, surf, sand, and see you after supper, senorita. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever thought of saving up your money and investing it? What for? For a rainy day. Ah, oh, this is England, Des. It rains every day. <laughs> instead of going to J.A. in Spain, you could have saved up your money instead and gone to the real Jamaica, check out your roots where you was born. I've seen where I was born. I drive past it every day. King's College Hospital, Camberwell, London. <laughs> oh, can I help you? Pinch me, Des, son. I'm not dreaming, mate. All right. <laughs> We haven't met before, eh? Don't tell me you're not from around here, right? Nah, because if you were, I'd certainly know about you, and you no doubt would have heard about me. Listen, I've got a couple of tickets for my boxing club, dinner and dance in a couple of weeks' time. I'm fighting. I'll knock him out first round if you can. How about it, innit? Occupe-toi de tes oignons, sinon je vais te faire un bal. Espèce de crétin. I see you haven't lost your touch, Lee. Good morning. Who was that little boy? Oh, don't worry about him. He's harmless, really. <laughs> I guessed. Yeah. What can I do for you? You know, fancy a couple of tickets to see me box plus dinner plus dance, Des. When is it? Thursday fortnight. Now, nah, Thursday is me and Shirley night out. That's all right. Bring her along. You know she don't like boxing. So how long are you staying for? Oh, two, maybe three weeks. It depends. Mm, on what? Oh, my brother Jean-Pierre. He teaches French over here. Oh, really? Yes, he's just started an adult language course at Peckham Civic Center. When? On Monday evenings. He wants me to help him out. Uh-huh. What does ext find mean? Well, if you've got a character or a command and you have to find it, the computer locates it for you. Ah. Can I have a go? <laughs> yeah. Press that key. <clears throat> what, what's going on? <laughs> Don't 
don't worry, Dad. It's talking to itself. You mean a computer can talk to itself? Yeah, it's got its own language. Here, check it out, Dad. I'm sorry, I asked. <laughs> I can safely say your mother and I are through our learning days. Oh, are we? Well, as a matter of fact, I've decided to take French lessons. What? Great, Mum. What do you want to learn French for? Well, you always on about the children's education, so I thought, why not? But well, that's different. They're young. They have to go to school, and it's free. <laughs> what are you trying to say? I too old? Yes. Uh, no, I mean, well, I don't see the point. Oh, come on, Dad. Don't be no fatty daddy. Your children can't even talk English properly, and you want to learn French. No. <laughs> I just want to do something to exercise my brain, and you're making all this fuss. What's your problem? Nothing. Sean, it's ready. You think I'll be wasting my time? No. You think I'm too old? No. Yeah. You just frightened of being left behind? No. Look, all those in favor of mum learning French say yes. We. we. You haven't voted, Dad. Since when do we vote? I make the decisions in my house. Ah, oh, thank you, Desmond. <laughs> Photographs are you can't see the faces properly, man. Hmm. Are they bums? Louise! <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? Men are always staring at ours. Why can't we stare at theirs? John Barnes has got a nice bum. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but that's not what I'm talking about. I mean, you think somebody at Mail Order Man would know that black people don't photocopy well? Look! <laughs> <laughs> Same gear, sir. They've only got one. Don't be stupid. Oh, come on, Gloria. You've been looking at these for over a week now. Oh, I don't know. Look, I'll tell you what. You close your eyes, pick out three. We'll go round to Denise's and she can help us pick out Mr. Wright. All right. Hang on. Whichever one I pick, how will I recognise him when I meet him? Easy. Red rose in the lapel. He'll wear one, you'll wear one. Well, that's original, isn't it? Bonsoir, mes enfants. Oh, bonsoir, maman. <laughs> Où est-ce que tu vas? Uh, je vais rencontrer Jean-Pierre. Oh. Your friend, she's getting very good, Mrs. Ambrose. Oh, yes. Jean-Pierre thinks I'm his best student. Oh. Yeah, he says I pick up French very easily. That's not all he wants you to pick up. Gloria. <laughs> he's a nice, respectable teacher. <laughs> and he's taught me some very useful phrases. Oh, yeah, like what? Et toi-même, tu pourrais bien faire la vaisselle, non? <laughs> That's great, Mum. What does it mean? Would, Would you, you like, like to, to do, do the, the washing, washing up? up? <laughs> come on, come on. We all know what you got. What have I got, then? Three, five, and four, one. <laughs> I'm not playing. You've been cheating. Don't be silly. You should learn to read the game, stupid idiot. Who are you calling stupid idiot, you stupid idiot? At least I'm not as stupid as you look. Don't y'all play dominoes in Africa? In the Gambia, we play trivial pursuit. <laughs> look, you West Indians forget that you are direct descendants. Without us, you would not exist. <laughs> Me no. I'd be very grateful. <laughs> but I'd be even more grateful if he was to play the tree five. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, we better be off if we're going to Hackney. Why are we going to Hackney? To the boxing, dinner, and dance. But I thought it was Streatham. No, it's definitely Hackney. Actually, lads, it's our Wickham. Where? Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, no. Slow down. Look, it's all taken care of. There's a coach outside to take you to High Wickham. Where is High Wickham? I thought you knew everything. <laughs> sure you won't come then, Des? No, I told you Thursday, Shirley, and my night out. I mean, I would, but she don't like to see your box. Yeah, well, when I beat Lloyd and become world champion, she's gonna have to watch me. Lloydy? Yeah, Lloyd Arnigan, he's soft. <laughs> Oh, 
open that gate. I don't want to be late because if I do, I have to blame it on you. Uh -huh. Before you ask, I'll be back at nine. I'll give you my word, I'll be right on time. Uh -huh. I'm going around the things with my computer program because tomorrow morning, he's got an exam. Uh -huh. He's paying me money to sort it out of him because he ain't too clever. In fact, it's quite dim. Uh -huh. I'm making loads of longer, Dad. Uh -huh. <laughs> Lovely, I like it then. Look. Oh, come on, you can't chicken out now. Where are you going tonight? We're going round to Nazis. We'll get back by half past ten. Dad, that's too early. We're only going down the road. I know, but I'm worried about muggers, rapists, and perverts. Dad, it's all right. We know who they are. We go to school with them. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, lad, girl, surely you look nicer. <laughs> You didn't tell me we was going out, out. <laughs> Hang on, I'll get changed. Is baby going? We're not going anywhere. I told you last week, I got a French lesson tonight. Dress like that? I thought your lessons was on Mondays. But Jean-Pierre Jean Jean-Pierre this, Jean-Pierre that. I wouldn't trust a black man with a name like Jean-Pierre. <laughs> He's taking me to see a French film. He came here to see a dirty film? <laughs> it's not a dirty film. And anyway, it's a good way to learn. To learn what? The language. You call it learning a language, I call it a date. Desmond, listen. In the 30 years we've been married, I ever give you any cause not to trust me? No. Hmm. I told you before, man, you should have remembered. But I remember. It's just that I forget. I'm <laughs> uh, sorry. Look, I gotta go. Otherwise, I'll be late. Um, when will you be back? Eleven o'clock. <laughs> Jean Pierre, this. Jean Pierre, that. Jean Pierre Smith. <laughs> Who is that? It's a burglar. Wearing high heel shoes and a fur coat. With a front door key. What time do you call this? I call this two o'clock in the morning. Why? What time you call it? Where have you been? On the way back from the cinema, the car broke down. Jean-Pierre phoned the AA. They took ages. Well, you could have run. Well, I didn't know it would have taken so long. You told me to be back by... Look, Desmond, I'm your wife, not Gloria, trying to make excuses. Anyway, I don't want to talk no more about it. It was a disaster. Oh, I knew it would be. <laughs> <laughs> what you know, Desmond, hmm? What you know about me. Hmm? You know what shoe size I take? What do you got to do with it? Everything. I know the size of your shoes. The size of your neck, your chest, your waist. How you hate the smell of violin cabbage. And I also know that when I said I was going to learn French, you thought, what a stupid old fool want to learn French for? I gave up my studies to marry you, remember? So all I may be, but stupid I am not. Not just because I don't exercise this body anymore. It don't mean to say I can't exercise this mind. So, you better put on your running shoes. Otherwise, I left you in the starting blocks. Well, I don't know if I want to run anymore. <laughs> I just want to rest, build a house and me plot a land back home and retire. Stop dreaming, Desmond. This is England, 1989. And we know nearer building a house back in the Guyana now than we were in 1969. You think I ain't gonna make it? You think I ain't gonna get there? Well, I'm gonna build that house if it's the last thing I do, even if I don't live there. <laughs> it would be for the children, so they could know the country of origin, the culture, its roots. So that when one day if Tachi decide to throw us out, we have somewhere to go to. And that goes for you too, little foot, Christy. Get it right. Daily Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Daily. I forget it was an all around <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs>
Do you remember when we first met? Mm, at your college dance. Yeah. Jazzy D. Playing in your band, wearing your Miles Davis sunglasses. <laughs> you were Mr. Cool. You remember the tune? Mm-hmm. Da, 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 da. Shirley? Yeah. Women run in shoes. <laughs> Come on through it, this. Gloria, you can't chicken out now. Well, if you want to do it so much, why don't you wear it here? But Gloria, he's coming to the shop. He'll be here soon. Well, he won't be looking at me because I won't be wearing a rose. Gloria! Why 57? And you still drive me wild. <laughs> oh, gentlemen, good morning. Come in, do come in. Is everything okay? I am cool. <laughs> How did the fight go? Did you win? When? I scared him so much, he didn't even turn up. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gentlemen having, the usual? Yeah, man. Ah, uh, Shirley, three teas, toast <laughs> and one coffee, please. Are you uh, all right? Man, I am cool. Yes, <laughs> 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 Are you sure you're all right? Man, I am in love, in love. In love? When did you meet this woman? Last night. You sneaky little, no wonder you want to come to the fire. <laughs> What's her name? Where did you meet her? Sharon, Sharon. This yeah, one, number yeah, five. Know, oh, exactly. no, no, listen, yeah, 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 you can't love Shirley, she's your wife. <laughs> Bonjour. Speaking of love. I just popped in to say au revoir. Oh, you can't go yet. I've only just got to know you. Some other time, eh? Shirley, good luck with your lessons. You must come and visit me in Paris sometime, eh? Oh, thank you. Desmond, a romantic weekend in Paris. Uh, How about if I give you a lift to the airport, eh? Bonjour, Cherry. What's he say? <laughs> Hello, darling. Petit garçon stupide, arrête de me faire perdre mon temps. Et grandis, sors de mes pattes. Oh, say some more. I love it when you talk dirty. <laughs> Au revoir, tout le monde. Hold on, wait for me. I have cracked it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no point in a saying about now. Well, I want to see what I'm missing. Don't I don't like it. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. Have you seen a lady wearing a red rose? <laughs> Can I help you? Gloria! Oh, you're even more beautiful than I imagined. Yes, 